And trouble is simmering in Nyamira County as the governor and his deputy differ publicly over governance and how the county should be administered. Recent decisions made by Governor John Nyagarama have been criticized by his deputy Amos Nyaribo. The two who walked into leadership as a unit are now trading bitter barbs. Uh, Nyamira County's caught up in a leadership tussle. Governor Nyagarama and his deputy have decided to engage. It appears there is no love lost here. The governor's recent decision to reshuffle his county executive cabinet seems to have rubbed his deputy, Amos Nyaribo, the wrong way. The finance, education, Roads and Environment CCs swapping offices and responsibilities. I'm telling you, you needed to consult also because any input from the deputy governor is necessary. It's necessary. It's mandatory because they change the ticket. Yes. If we fail, we fail both of us. So if we take sanctions, how can I be accountable for these sanctions? You want to ask him whether he told me when he was going. I knew he was going away. You want to ask him whether he came to tell me now, Your Excellency, I have left for the U.S. You want to ask him that. It is this American voyage that seems to arc Governor Nyagarama. Since they are elected jointly, I'm not an appointee. We are elected jointly, so I'm also accountable to the people of Nyamira County. The two gentlemen walked into Nyamira County offices as one three years ago, but could walk out from different doors come 2017. You know what he has done. He has already gone around, he's saying nothing is going on. Uh, nothing is going on in the house, and uh, if, if, if you know he has also declared his candidate. So whatever I plan that will be for the good of the of the country, you obviously oppose it. So why should I? Why should I? Also? The deputy governor triggered the exchange when he spoke to journalists, calling his governor a one-man show who wants to run things with an iron fist. Leila Mohamed, NTV.